If you're looking to get the hosting or pricing explained, you, my friend, are in the best spot. So what I'd recommend, if you click the link in the description, not only can you follow along with me, but if you wanna get started today, you're also gonna get an extra 20% discount, which will be applied at the checkout. That's my way of saying thank you for watching this video. And of course, if you wanna get Hostinger, you can get that nice little extra discount. So when you do arrive here, what you wanna do is click on the claim deal button right here, and it's gonna bring us down to the pricing section. This is where it's gonna be the first part of explaining the pricing plans and what they have to offer. So first and foremost, there's gonna be premium, business, and cloud startup. Now, as you can see, business is gonna be the most popular. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of compare premium and business. You can also scout out the cloud startup if needed. As you can see, there's gonna be a lot of the features there. So let's move on over to the left. As you can see here, it's gonna be $2.99 a month. That's gonna be for if you get a 48 month term, okay? So when you multiply you know, this by that, you're gonna come up with the price, plus it's gonna be even less because of the discount. If you wanna spend only a dollar extra per month, this is where business comes in, and it says level up with more power and enhanced features. So this is gonna be $3.99 per month, you know, multiplied by this 48 month term, and of course the extra discount plus three months free. Now there's probably gonna be the big question no, okay, not a huge difference between both of these, but what's going to warrant, say, using premium versus business? So first and foremost, very easily, here are some of the biggest reasons why I'd want to use premium. First is going to be if you are brand new to creating a website. So if you've never created a website before, this is going to be your first one. You know at the time you only need one and you're probably not going to be getting a whole lot of traffic. Premium is definitely for you. As you can see, if we scroll down a little right here, you're going to see that you get 25 websites, up to 25 websites, and it increases to 50 if you're going to need plenty more. You also get 25 gigs of storage. That's going to double to 50. And you get a few other things that are going to be beneficial. You get 25 mailboxes. Boxes, similar to the websites, that's going to double 50 and 50. Now here's one of the biggest perks in my opinion that a lot of people kind of sleep on here. Difference between premium right here and business is going to be weekly backups versus daily backups. So I don't know about you, but if you're prone to breaking websites, maybe deleting a section you shouldn't have, daily backups are going to be a blessing, especially if you need to use them. I know in the past I've needed to do this many times. So let's say you break something on your website and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to go back and do my backup. If you have weekly backups, say, and you can only do a week ago, that means you're going to lose maybe a lot of the content that you might have created on your website, which could just take a ton of time going back doing again and so on and so forth with daily backups if you break up something it's not going to be that big of a deal because it's only going to be the day before where you back it up so that can be extremely valuable if you are prone to breaking a lot of things okay when I do click on to see more features, you're going to notice that a lot of these are virtually going to be the same, and that's a very good thing. I will scroll down a little bit more because as you're going to see, there are going to be a few other beefier upgrades, so to speak, like the standard security is going to be a little bit more enhanced with this one. You do get your free domain with the who is privacy protection on both, which is fantastic. So you can just make sure you don't get a lot of that spam because without who is privacy protection, people will understand who you are and then they can spam you more. It's really annoying, but that comes along with it, which is great. So a big thing right here is, as I talked about previously, you know, if you're going to be using just your first website ever, premium is going to be great as it allows around 25,000 visits monthly. But if you think you're going to be having more websites, more volume and more traffic, business is around 100,000 visits monthly. So that's another bigger reason why you'd want to use business. And as you can see, a lot of the other things are going to be the same. Some are going to be a little bit more increased, as you might expect. But those are the major features and perks and differences when it comes to just comparing Comparing, say premium and business and you can see why business is going to be so much more popular because it only comes out to like a dollar more per month yes you're going to be multiplying that by 48 or so on and so forth but in my opinion if you need the traffic the more websites the daily backup the more mailboxes i think it's a pretty good deal if you ask me so that's going to be the pricing explained when you're looking at it right here Allow me to take you to like more of the checkout page and just kind of show you how the discount works and what's going to be best for you when it comes to saving the most amount of money. So let's say we're going to go with the business here. I'm going to click on choose plan under the business plan. All right, and 48 month period is going to be the time that it's going to be for us. So when you look at it, you're only paying $153.22 for four years of website hosting, and that's up to what, 50 websites, around 100,000 views per month. That is a great price if you ask me. You're already getting the 71% discount, and like I said previously, if you use my link, you'll also be getting that extra 20% off. My way of saying thank you for watching this video, but the reason why I recommend the 48 month period is because over 
overall, it is going to be the best value and the best bonuses. You have the discount on the right, you get your free domain, but when you use the 48 month period, you're also getting three months free included in this order. You'll also notice that once the 48 months are up, it is going to be renewing at $8.99 a month for four years. In my opinion, that's not that bad. This is obviously going to be an introduction rate, but if you've seen many other hostings, a lot of them, I mean, start at $20 a month, $25. I think I've spent $50 a month for hosting in the past. So, so this is still considered a great price, even though it is going to be renewing after what, four years. Okay. So so you'll notice that's for 48 months, renews at about $9 right there. If we go to 24 months, you're gonna notice that this renews at about $10. So it's gonna be a little bit more when it does renew. And this, you just get the free domain. You don't get those extra three free months. Still gonna come out to $3.19 a month. And if you go to 12 months right here, this is gonna renew at $14 a month, which is definitely the most there. And you just get that free domain. So as you can see, that's why I do recommend the 48 months. That's why I did wanna factor in this into the pricing as well. You know about all the discounts and all that stuff, but it's more about choosing which period do you want for over Overall, this one's going to be the best bang for your buck, especially with the discount, the bonuses that you get, the uh, the three free months, the free domain, and of course, the renewal price is going to be the lowest as well. So that's my recommendation if you want to go that much. If you don't need it, that's simply fine. 12 or 24 is going to do perfect. And the last step, there's probably two more steps, but what you want to do is click on continue right here. And this is where you're gonna register your account. Make sure you use a primary email here because they're gonna send you information about when you get ready. When you do that, add your password, click on register. That's when you can check out. They're gonna give you the final total there as well as all the discounts and the bonuses that you're gonna be getting. But nevertheless, that's gonna conclude this video when it comes to the hosting or pricing explained. Not only how much you're gonna be paying, how much you're gonna be saving in overall what you should probably choose when it comes to 24, the 36, or the 48 month duration. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten to check out this hostinger page, I will leave my link down below in the description. Make sure you click that. I want to make sure you get that 20% off. Once again, my way of saying thank you for watching this video. My name is James. I hope this helped you out. And I also hope that you enjoy hostinger as much as I do.